North Dakota Company and Apache Troop 6-9 Cavalry, 3rd Armored Brigade Combat Team, 1st Cavalry Division, conducted their Table 12 qualification in a resurrected hunter-killer formation. So we're working on hunter-killer Table 12. It's a concept where we're combining two tanks, three Bradleys, and nine dismounts into a configuration to see what we can and cannot do and to try and uh, organize the Army in uh, a new direction. We did hunter-killer concepts for a number of years, ever since uh, the 1950s in the cavalry branch. We've also never really done it in this configuration, where we have one tank company attached to three cavalry troops and then mixing those elements together to be effective on the battlefield as a reconnaissance organization. Additionally, units in the past never had access to systems like unmanned aerial systems, and that's all enhancing our ability to do the hunter-killer concept and maximize the use of all of our forces. The hunter-killer concept is designed to engage all forms of enemy troops, from dismounted soldiers to opposing armor forces and anti-tank teams. And now we're trying to get back into using the armor concept, not just as infantry support, but as its own structured, self-sufficient combat power. The 6-9 Cavalry hopes to take the lessons learned from the qualification and recommend changes to the Army Standing Operating Procedures. They've been doing fantastic out there, a lot of learning going on. It's really a great experience that we haven't done this type of training in a while, and we're learning a lot of really fantastic lessons. For U.S. Army Central, I'm Army Sergeant Marty Borton.